What a wonderful privilege it has been to have your son or daughter at Westminster. Some were here for 13 or 14 years, while others joined us more recently. Westminster is family for all. Providing a Christ-centered education is a great responsibility and a blessing. As you know, we take this charge very seriously, as if our students are our own children. But doing this work also provides some of the greatest personal rewards one can experience. And lots of smiles and laughs, too. Serving as Westminster's headmaster is much like my own role as a parent of three children. Knowing that each student is made in God's image makes it easy to love and care for every one of them. It brings me great joy to watch them reach their God-given potential in academics, the arts, and athletics. It's also a privilege to offer a world-class education that complements the Christian faith. Our city, nation, and world need well-educated citizens. People who can think well, write well, speak well, and listen well. As we all know, that's lacking in our country today. But we also need more men and women who have moral and ethical convictions founded on Scripture and who have the courage to stand up for those convictions. We need men and women who will choose to use their education and all of their potential to positively influence their spheres of influence for Jesus Christ. That's my hope for your graduate. I want to personally thank you for making so many sacrifices to send your son or daughter to Westminster. I'm very mindful of the financial investment you've made for a Westminster education, and I'm convinced there will be a significant return on that investment. Thank you also for all the ways you've supported Westminster through your volunteerism and financial support. All of us at Westminster look forward to staying in touch with our newly minted alumni and seeing the class of 2015 at our homecoming celebration in the fall. Like parents, it's always heartening when the kids come home. May God bless your family and your 2015 graduate.